Hey there, good morning. Happy Saturday morning from your friends here at Panavia and from Steve Wood, your friendly neighborhood captured German scientist. Um, one thing I like to talk about and review myself is different model years of cars and the changes that they make for the buyer, for the government, or for industry. And one of the more interesting cars of all time is the Corvette. Because you take our 1956 Corvette here and you have basically Eisenhower's America. This is Dwight D. Eisenhower administration. Uh, when this car was built, nobody had been in space yet. Not a dog, not a monkey, not a human, not even a little Sputnik. Nothing had been in outer space at that time, or even inner, inner space, really. The transistor had been invented, but still, it was 1956. Then, over a seemingly very short period of time, 15 years, you time travel, time travel with me. Go to 1971. This is Richard Nixon's America. This is the America where we have landed on the moon. We have successfully landed on the moon a number of times and we're nearing the end of our moon program and how much had America changed. So one thing I do like about Corvettes uh, all years is really I feel that like they are a representation of America at the time. You start off with a small block and you end up with a big block. So this is where John is gonna insert some sexy montages and different things from 1956 to 1971. Between 1956 and 1971, there was a game of numbers. In 1956, we started with a, uh, a 265 engine, which had a 3.75 inch bore. That's under four inches. All the way up to 1971, you heard of 427s, and then Chevrolet wanted to produce something more than 427, so they went to 454, which is a 4.310 bore by four inch stroke. Basically, just about double what 1956 had. Goes like this. We'll get in your car and you'll need to kiss me. We'll tell for hours and 